year, the miracle was reproduced. Scheherazade, Firebird, the Spectre de la Rose, and Petrushka, which gave final recognition to the music of Stravinsky. language of Fokine was classical ballet, but this language was fed and invigorated by dialect drawn from folklore and everyday life. Inspiration for the final dance of Petrushka came from the coachmen of St. Petersburg, who would clap their hands, stamp their feet, and beat their chests to keep themselves warm outside their carriages in winter. Diaghilev had already revealed the revolutionary choreographic talents of Nijinsky. In the space of two years, three choreographic works would create an astonishing interlude in the history of ballet, and dance seemed to free itself from the constraints of music. First came L'Apres-Midi d'Enfant, where Nijinsky danced a body rooted to the ground, a dance without technical display as if he wanted to give to the dance his soul, which mere virtuosity constantly seemed to overwhelm. Nijinsky choreographed movement from sport, contrary to the classical technique of which he was complete master. The scandal came with Le Sac du Printemps, which the press dubbed Le Massacre du Printemps. Stravinsky's music, commissioned by Diaghilev, was impossible to choreograph classically. Nijinsky, powerfully influenced by the rhythmic dances of Jacques Dalcroze, worked with the weight of the dancers' bodies. He turned their feet inwards rather than using the traditional turnout. After 120 rehearsals, the first performance took place on the 10th of May, 1913. <laughs> 